I sit back in my ride, trying to figure out plenty of ways to get this paper without cocking back this sign to ride by. See the devil on my shoulder, trying to compromise, but I know God gon' ride with me, and that's bottom line. We shall define. Decline these haters' friendship. They ain't my kind. Some kin to do you in, so I feel friends ain't worth my time. My mind is set on lavishness. I feel it close, imagine it. Instead of dreaming about it, I'll be having it. So slap the whip and mash the gas for what pays. My clutch is bad, I'm paranoid. My mama turning to gray. Slang and gay just for the cake was like a slap in the face. Because she knows she didn't raise me that way. It's sad to say I'm face to face off in the mirror. I couldn't say it clearer. I'm a young go get her. Mama never raised me to be no killer. I can paint the picture clearer. Focus hard, you see the stars. We not focused on the rain, we just preparing for the storm. Every time I set my mind on stacking paper, it go wrong. But I know one thing that I got to do. I got to keep on going. Who say the sky's the limit? 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 Who for the storm? Who say the sky's the limit? Who for the storm? Yes, my grandfather had told me keep your eyes up on the wealth, keep God above your dreams, and you gon' make something out of yourself. But why I'm on my knees for help, feeling like I lost a step. Hello, man, how you doing? Doing good, man. Doing all right, man. That's good. Now, everybody that don't know, uh, I'm Chris Cousin. I J ran off. I won't be narrating this little video. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, for everybody that don't really know you, know you, man. Let everybody know what your name is, bro. Well, I'm Christopher Jones. Originally, man, I was I'm from Baton Rouge, but I moved to Homer when I was seven. Nine is baby. And this for everybody. I know I sat in the back of the classroom the entire semester. I was real quiet, but you know I'm just introducing myself. I want to give y'all a little piece of me. Okay, man. So, shit. What you like to do in your spare time, man? What kind of hobbies you got? What you like to do? You know what I mean? When you sitting around, you ain't got shit to do, really. Lifting weights. No shit. <laughs> 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 Lifting weights, uh, sleeping, watching TV. Oh, okay. And I'm a movie fanatic. And okay. I play video games too. What kind of? No yeah. doubt. You know. What you doing right now currently in your life, man, that you know that you're dedicated to that but you get most of your time. Right now, man, school is school is at the head, man. Okay. And I don't like my job, but work is two. Work is number two. And after that, man, it's the gym. My major is nursing, man. Well, shit, I like helping people, and I'm, okay. I'm real. I like I like science. Yeah, you know, is there anything you wish you could have did better while you know, you know, going to school, or is there any regrets? Just you know, anything you could have did better. You know what I'm saying? After I graduated high school, man, I set out. I set out a year, and then I went to college for a year, and then I missed another year. So that really that pushed my time back. Yeah, I would be way, way more ahead if I would have handled. About to handle it up from the from the start. Yeah. So that's a that's a regret. That's something about it. That's a regret. That's something I regret. What's up, everybody? I'm gonna introduce y'all to my family. My name is Cynthia, and I'm Christopher's mother. I'm Javen Jones. Uh, Christopher is my uncle. And I'm Jaylen. I'm his niece. What's up, everyone? This is my youngest niece. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Tamari McKenzie Jones. So, what do you think about my drive? How, how's my work ethic been so far? My school and work. You think I could have worked hard? You think I could have did more? No, I don't think you could have done any more. I think you worked hard, and I think you do enough. Wait, what do you think I messed up at? I don't think you did. You don't think I have any failures or anything like that? I don't think you have no failures. Any? N not any. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's it, man. <laughs> no, keep doing it. Well, Chris, you're a great kid. What else can I say about you? You work hard. You get up and you go to work in the morning. You leave work and you go to school. You go to the workout company. You study really hard. I think you do great. And what you else you do? Well, as y'all can see, all she can talk about is the positive stuff. She's not going to talk about my past failures or any bad things I did so that's because you never did anything bad you don't, don't have failures I want to talk I want to get into a little bit talking about generativity versus stagnation my views on it my ideas first I'm gonna start with stagnation first let's pray <laughs> that 
no one in our class ever reaches stagnation. I don't think anybody want to, you know, get to an old age and look back on their life and feel bitter about it. Never really thought about it because right now I'm just trying to get my foot in the door into my major in the nursing. But one day I would like to have kids. I would like to uh, leave a legacy behind. That sounds really interesting to me. And I already, like I'm 22 right now, but I'm always talking to my nephews about, you know, trying to, trying to give them knowledge about my past experiences, the mistakes I made, stuff they should do. I'm always trying to guide them like that. I always try to play the big brother role. We're gonna talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now we all know that level one is the physiological needs, food, water, sex. Level two, safety needs. So once we progress from basic needs, you know, food and water, now we're more concerned about safety needs. Level three, love, love, love. Love and belonging needs. Love is in the air. I hold my breath though. Fourth level, we almost level five, but this is the fourth level, which is probably, to me, this is the most important level. It's esteem needs. We have, as humans, we have, we need to feel some sort of success. Like we need to succeed in something. We need to know that we did something in our lives. Level five, the final level, the top, you're at the top of the pyramid, self-actualization. That is fulfilling one's potential. Basically, you reach your highest potential. You can't go any further. Let me introduce y'all to the oh-so-beautiful Chastity. But this my this my workout partner, y'all. And I said she was self-actualization because it's the perfect female. She work. She could cook. She work out with me for like two and a half hours on leg day, sometimes back day. Tell us a little bit about your journey to be a nurse. Well, my journey started eight years ago. Um, pretty long. I had a few obstacles that got in my way. Um, just a few setbacks. So um, I kept pushing through, perseverance, uh, just praying, staying prayed up. I got accepted to LSU Medical Center in um, New Orleans. Um, so I saw it January 2015 and I'm very excited. Well, I just want to close the video out. I just want to say that I really enjoyed this semester. I had a really fun class. I enjoyed all the crazy talks. Stacy, you are an excellent teacher. Your personal experiences made the class even better. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. And I really liked the class too. So that's it. Signing out.